As you guys can see up on the screen today, I wanted to talk a little bit about Progenity Incorporated. This is ticker symbol P-R-O-G or prog as a lot of people know it uh on social media and reddit and kind of youtube and all this stuff you know this is prog where you get all the frog emojis and people talking about it jump into the moon or whatever the heck um and obviously you can see that today was not a great day for prog stock this thing was down 9.29 percent but hey after hours up 1.6 percent so maybe stuff is starting to turn around a little bit but um the good news if there is some good news at this point is the fact that the broader market was not doing well today you know dow jones was down s p was down and pretty big nasdaq was down and pretty big russell 2000 down and pretty big so if you do have a smaller more volatile uh, more uncertain company like progenity um they are kind of more prone to these bigger sell-offs, these bigger downswings when the market goes down. Now, when the market goes up, you'll see Progenity go up 4, 5, 6, 8, 10 percent in a single day. And, you know, the S&P is not going to do that. So when the S&P goes down 1 percent, you also got to be able to stomach, you know, it going down 8, 9, 10 percent or whatever as well. Uh, but obviously, this is not a good sign. And if we kind of zoom out a little bit, you know, last week we're up 1 percent. Things have been pretty flat overall for Prague, but really not flat because if you look at this graph, it's just up and down and up and down and up and down. I mean, this thing is moving a decent amount, but to kind of end up right back where we started is pretty interesting. But uh, when you zoom out, you know, a little bit further, things definitely start to get worse down 45% over last month, 24% um, last six months. Uh, and then year to date down 53% over last year down 64% overall. This has not been great for Prague, but uh, obviously people believe uh, in this company for a couple of different reasons. One, they think that they are an awesome short squeeze candidate because they are down so bad. You know, they have been beaten down over the past five years. They're down 81%. This makes them ripe for the shorting uh, by, you know, big investors and everything and potentially even the over shorting or the overselling or the, you know, sleeping on um, Prague. And then, you know, some people making that short squeeze play, some people looking to make the gamma squeeze play or whatever. Uh, and then also obviously people um, thinking that Prague has become undervalued and wanting to buy the dip and, and thinking, hey, Yes, it hasn't been good recently, but that doesn't mean that Prog should be, you know, beaten down this far that we're now, you know, under a $400 million market cap. Uh, and then some other people taking a look at the new stuff that the company is doing. The company is obviously knows it has been struggling. It knows that it's down, you know, so terrible over the past five years, years, six months, all that stuff. Um, but they are making changes. They're putting different things in place. They're trying to, you know, change up um, what their business is doing to reduce costs, to increase revenues, to increase profits, to, um, you know, start making some more money, start turning things around. Um, so there's really a ton of different angles of why people are involved with progenity and everything but uh, again recently it hasn't been looking great i know i made a video last week or whatever that i was like you know prog is is dead or is prog dead or whatever um and it definitely seemed like the tides had turned you know at one point this thing was you going from uh under a dollar up to you know uh like what six dollars seven dollars seven dollars and 86 cents this thing was up 600 percent in the matter of months and it had so much upward momentum and upward trajectory and i'm a, a very you know momentum based investor when i see th something is uh going up i like to ride that wave hopefully not just buying the tops you know i'm not trying to buy high sell low but uh, i like going overall with, with the the market with, with momentum you know the market was doing well prog was doing well things are going up but to me, when I look at a graph like this, it seems clearly like, you know, we are at kind of a downward sloping trajectory. Uh, and maybe you think this is the bottom. But when I look at this again, in the last six months, it seems to me that uh, Prague has lower to go, if, if not much, much lower to go. Now, obviously, the things are not exactly the same as they once were. But now that I also know that, you know, the S&P is going down, the Dow is going down overall, there's a lot of negative market sentiment in the air. So, um, you know, do I necessarily think that Prague is going to be turning this around anytime soon? No, not really. And I know some people like kind of flamed me on my, you know, Prog is dead video because um, I don't really remember where I made it. But obviously, you know, Prog has had some of these big jumps and then everyone's like, oh, uh, you know, remember when you said Prog was dead? Now it's jumping up big. Um, but I do believe when I made that Prog is dead video, Prog was two dollars and 70 cents. So again, uh, I mean, it's only been down since I've made that video and kind of have been talking about Prog in a little more negative of a light. Again, I talked it up on the way up and, and I'm just, you know, paying attention to the news, paying attention to what's going on. And this obviously did not seem good to me, seeing that Prague was down 10% today. And it just seemed like another sign that, man, 
there's only more bad things to come for Prague. It's just a lot of negativity going on. Uh, you know, at one time there was hype and excitement on social media, Reddit, Twitter, YouTube. So many people talking about Prague. So many people getting hyped up. So many people buying the dip. So many people, you know, saying they're going all in and buying a ton of shares and and putting their price targets and saying where we're going and and here's why and all this DD. And now. You just hear crickets about Prague. You see a bunch of people who have lost a ton of money, of people who have moved on to the next big thing, who have moved on to the next more interesting thing, uh, and potentially moved on to the next better thing, and that is kind of a troubling thing right now for Prague. But what is good? After all that bad news, we do have some good news involving Progenity, uh, and this was you know news from Yahoo Finance. Progenity completes exit from laboratory business with sale of affiliate lab. Uh, Progenity, a biotech company innovating in the field of oral biotherapeutics for gastrointestinal health and beyond, announced it has successfully closed the business uh, of its affiliate of Vero Diagnostics through an asset sale to Northwest Pathology. Uh, the sale of our Avero Diagnostics affiliate results in a further annual operating expense reduction of approximately 28 million dollars that is not nothing again for this is a company that's trading right around a 400 million dollar uh, market cap valuation right now 28 million dollars is a significant chunk of change to them reducing that annual spending by 28 million bringing bringing the total reduction in annual operating expenses to approximately 145 million compared to the second quarter again that is insane $400 million company uh, reducing annual operating expenses by 145 million that's huge. That's massive. Now, how is this going to affect the share price or the stock price, you know, in the short term or in the medium term or in the long term? I don't know. And nobody knows. But again, it's not a bad sign. It doesn't mean the stock can't go down or won't go down or whatever, but it just means, um, you know, this, this should, you know, be good news. It seems like they are doing some things right, or they're at least making some better plays. Um, but obviously the market is, is, you know, forward looking. Yes. Saving more money is great, but at the end of the day, you want to be, uh, generating revenue. You want to be generating profit. You want to be growing your business, not just, um, you know, shrinking costs, but also, uh, you know, making more money and, and finding more business ventures and all that stuff. So there's a lot of a lot of variables that go into anything. Obviously, that's why it's so so complicated and so so difficult. This reduction, along with capital raise, should extend our cash runway uh, beyond the end of 2022. That's another great sign, and reduce our dependency on the capital markets. Uh, the purchase price was 10.9 million, subject to uh, adjustments as set forth in the agreement. This is one of the final steps in our strategic plan to materially reduce our cash burn. Completing this transaction is important to us as we focus on delivering our biotherapeutics pipeline. We are pleased that the Northwest Pathology will be retaining more than 90% of Avero employees. So that's awesome as well. You know, they are thinking about the people, making sure that they are all set up and good to go. Um, but it is also interesting to note here that they're saying that this is one of their final steps. So um, some people are going to think that uh, Prague has done enough at this point to be a successful, uh, thriving company going uh, forward over the next one, two, three, five years, which again is, is what the stock market is going to be caring about. They're not going to care about, you know, uh, the short term too much. It's very, very forward looking. It's very long term focus. Um, but also, uh, yeah, just knowing that there's not anything else coming. So maybe you think they've done enough. Maybe think they haven't but uh now we we have a little bit more certainty surrounding the prog situation but um obviously you know the market didn't react overly positively to this you know we were down 10 percent today so it's a little bit rough but you know the market does need time to digest things this came out a little bit later in the day um and again we're up two percent after hours so maybe this is the start of a good rest of the week for prog um you know seeking alpha did uh, kind of an analysis of them where they say you know they're circling back on progenity as a small medical diagnostic firm that we took an in-depth look at before the company has completely shifted its business focus and brought in a new ceo to help with the transformation since we last posted about it uh updated investment case um um, you know, so they do have a lot of other information about, you know, recent events and all this stuff. So definitely some, uh, a ton of, you know, just news and, and breakdowns and everything surrounding, uh, prog, uh, the verdict from seeking alpha was that since they last visited progeny has completely changed its business model and focus areas. And since we, uh, last analyzed it, it was a diagnostic, uh, testing concern with some additional early stage developmental assets in its pipeline. Now those early stage assets are going to determine the company's future. They're aiming at some potential big markets, but it'll be years before investors will know if management made the right paradigm shift company should be uh should have some early stage trial milestones in 2022 which is always uh as long as it goes well obviously if it goes poorly it's a very bad sign but if it goes well 
usually that's a good sign, good news for uh, some of these smaller cap biotech stocks. You know, that's how you can get those big, big days when uh, positive trial results come out. Uh, however, outside of being able to license its uh, precludia, rule out test efforts for pre preeclampsia or other assets uh, for a significant upfront payment, the company is going to have to return to the capital markets in the year ahead. So, you know, Seeking Alpha saying they're going to have to return to the capital markets. Progeny telling us that they're, you know, lowering their reliance on the capital markets. We'll have to see who ends up telling the truth or who ends up being right there. Given all this, I can give Progeny at the moment is an incomplete pending further development. So, you know, some people still not overly impressed, not overly excited about the stock. But then again, you know, there's definitely a, a ton of uh, people on the other side as well. This is a very polarizing, very interesting stock with bear and bull cases that are both very, very strong. Uh, and it's going to be fun and interesting to watch and see where this stock price and company goes over you know the next couple of months and the next couple of years uh and i'll definitely be here you know checking it all out so definitely drop a like if you guys did enjoy this video i'd appreciate it so so much leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about prog stock i'd love your guys thoughts and opinions subscribe stay up to date and all my latest content hope we catch you guys in the next one but until then peace